Now, we've killed two birds with one stone. What do you mean? Well, didn't you realize I wanted to get him out of the room? So that he could write the letter? And so that I could talk to you alone. About this? Yes, about this. But there's nothing more to tell, Mrs. Tesman. Really, there isn't. Oh, yes, there is. There's a lot more. I can see that. Really, Mrs. Tesman, I think I ought to be going. Oh, there's no hurry. Ah. Uh, well. How are things at home? I'd rather not speak about that. Oh, my dear, you could tell me. Good heavens, we used to be at school together. Yes, but you were a year senior to me. I used to be terribly frightened of you in those days. Frightened of me? Oh, yes, terribly frightened. Whenever you met me on the staircase, you used to pull my hair. No, did I? And once you threatened to burn it all off. <laughs> oh, but that was only in fun. Oh, yes, but I was so silly in those days. And then afterwards... I mean, we've drifted so far apart. Our backgrounds were so different. Well, now, we must try to drift together again. Listen, when we were at school, we used to call each other by our Christian names. No, I'm sure you're mistaken. I'm sure I'm not. I remember it quite well. Let's tell each other our secrets, as we used to in the old days. Oh. There. You must call me Hedda. Oh, you're so kind. I'm not used to people being so nice to me. No, no, no. And I shall call you Tora, as I used to. My name is Taya. Uh, of course. Of course I meant Taya. So, you're not used to kindness, Taya, in your own home? Oh, if only I had a home. But I haven't. I've never had one. I thought that was it. Yes, yes. Yes. I can't remember exactly, but didn't you first go to Mr. Elfstead as a housekeeper? Governess, actually. But his wife, at the time, I mean. She was an invalid and had to spend most of her time in bed. So I had to look after the house, too. But in the end, you became mistress of the house. Yes, I did. Let me see. Uh, roughly how long ago was that? When I got married, you mean? Yes. About five years. Oh, yes, it must be that. Oh, those five years. Especially the last two or three. Oh, Mrs. Tesman, if you only knew... Mrs. Tesman? Oh, Thea. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'll try to remember. Yes, if you had any idea... Eilert Loveborg used to live up there about three years ago, didn't he? Eilert Loveborg? Hmm. Yes. Yes, he used to come and see us every day. Uh, to help uh, teach the children. I found I couldn't manage that as well as look after the house. Of course you couldn't. And I suppose your husband being a magistrate, well, I suppose he was away from home a good deal. Oh, yes. You see, Miss... Uh, you see, Hedda, he has to cover the whole district. My poor, pretty little tail. <laughs> well. Now, you must tell me the whole story. From beginning to end. Well, what do you want to know? Well... What kind of a man is your husband, as a person, I mean? Is he kind to you? I'm sure he does his best to be. I only wonder, if he isn't too old for you, there must be 20 years between you, isn't there? Oh, there are so many things. We're different in every way. We've nothing in common, nothing whatever. But he loves you, surely, in his own way. I don't know. I think he just finds me useful. And then I don't cost much to keep. I'm cheap. Oh. Now you're being stupid. No, it can't be any different with him. He doesn't love anyone except himself. And perhaps the children, a little. You must be fond of Eilert Loveborg, Taya. Eilert Loveborg? Mm. What makes you say that? Well, if he sends you all the way down here to look for him. Besides, you said so yourself to Tesma. Did I? Well, yes, I suppose I did. Mm. Well, I may as well tell you the whole story. It's bound to come out sooner or later. My husband had no idea I was coming here. As a matter of fact, he wasn't even there. He was away at the Assizes. I couldn't stand it any longer, Hedda. I just couldn't. I'd be so dreadfully lonely up there now. Go on. So I packed a few things, secretly, and went. Without telling anyone? Yes. I caught the train and came straight here. But my dear Taya, how brave of you. Well, what else could I do? 
what do you suppose your husband will say when you go back? Back there? To him? Yes, surely. I shall never go back to him. You mean you've left your home for good? I just didn't see what else I could do. What do you suppose people will say? You can say what they like. I had to do it. What are you going to do now? How are you going to live? I don't know. I only know I must live wherever Islet Loveborg is. If I'm to go on living. Tell me, Ter. How did this friendship between you and Islet Loveborg begin? Oh, it came about gradually. I, I developed a kind of power over him. Oh. He gave up his old habits. Not because I asked him to. I'd never have dared to do that. I suppose he just noticed I didn't like that kind of thing, so he gave it up. You made a new man of him. <laughs> Clever little player. Yes. Well, anyway, he says I have. And he's made a sort of real person out of me. Taught me to think and to understand all kinds of things. Gave you lessons too. Well, not exactly lessons, but oh, he used to talk to me about oh, you've no idea, so many things. And then he let me work with him. Oh, it was wonderful. I was so happy to be allowed to help him. He allowed you to help him. Yes. Whenever he wrote anything, we always did it together, like good friends. Friends. Yes, why, Heather? That's exactly the word he used. <laughs> oh, I ought to feel so happy, but I can't. I don't know if it will last. You don't seem very sure of him. Something stands between Islet Loveborg and me. The shadow of another woman. Who can that be? I don't know. Someone he used to be friendly with in, in the old days. Someone he's never been able to forget. What has he told you about her? No, oh, he only mentioned her once, casually. Well, what did he say? He said when he left her, she tried to shoot him with a pistol. <laughs> what nonsense. People don't do such things. <laughs> well, the kind of people we know. No. I think it must be that red-haired singer that he used to oh, go... Oh, yes, very probably. I remember they said she always used to carry a loaded pistol. Well, then it must be her. Hedda, I hear she's come back and is living here. Oh, I'm so desperate. Oh, shh. Tell her, you mustn't breathe a word of this to anyone. Mm -hmm. Well, here's my little epistle, all signed and sealed. Good. I think Mrs. Elfstead wants to go now. Oh, would you post that for me, please? Very good, madam. Judge Brack is here and asks if he may pay his respects to madam and the doctor. Well, show him in. <laughs> may one presume to call so early? One may presume. <laughs> You're welcome here at any time. <laughs> Judge Brack, Mrs. Reesing. Ah, charmed. What? to be able to see you for once by daylight, Judge. Do I look different? Yes, a little younger, I Too think. Too kind. <laughs> what do you think of Hedda? What doesn't she look well? Hasn't she filled out? Well, stop it. You ought to be thanking Judge Brack for all the inconvenience. Nonsense. It was a pleasure. You're a loyal friend. But my other friend is pining to get away. Au revoir, Judge. Won't be a minute. 